hello my lovelies welcome or welcome back to simply angel tia in this video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this poncho here and as you can see i'm using a yarn that is uh it has a self-changing color so this is not me changing colors in this order the yarn comes predetermined like this so i will show you guys what that is but of course you will be able to do this in whatever colors you want um so without any further ado let me show you what i used for this in terms of yarn um this is it here this is the the yarn that i used and this size that i have here that you see is pretty much a full uh cake like this so i did not go uh any long any more than a full cake like this and i had just a little bit of a string like this left at the end of it okay so this is uh, Car uh karen skinny cakes by your inspiration and uh this particular uh cake here is uh eight 8 ounces which is 250 grams and if you're looking to know the measurements in meters and in, in yards and things like that then that is all down here uh, this color is called sugar uh, ube sugar ub or sugar ube whatever however you pronounce that i don't know so correct me please in the comments below how you pronounce some of these things that i can never pronounce uh, but that's what i have there so this is going to be, uh, it's a lightweight number three yarn and recommended hook size is a four millimeter crochet hook or US G6. Okay. Um, so this is what I'm using to create this here. Uh, but what I'm going to do, because I've already created the project is I'm going to show you how to do a sample in this, uh, hobby yarn. Um, and it's a, a lightweight number three as well, just to do a sample that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. Okay now in terms of a crochet hook size i'm actually using a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook or g6 us um, just because i like to work a little bit when i do things like this i like to make it look a little bit looser as opposed to tight and i feel like if i use a four millimeter crochet hook it may come a little bit uh, on the tight side and then of course i have a scissors here that i'm going to be using to cut any strings and it helps to have a stitch marker or two laying around for the first part of the project quickly because we're going to need to make sure we have even stitches on one side to the other to be able to create this section in the middle here like this okay all right so with all of that said i'm going to put everything away and i'm going to show you guys the sample that i'm going to be working on okay so you guys are my lovely so we're going to get this project started here so as you can see i have my lightweight number three yarn which i'm going to do just a small sample to show you guys how to do that so we're not going to be creating the whole project all over again but i'm going to be showing you how to do the number of repeat rows and then you can obviously repeat those rows as, as many as you need to establish the size of your poncho okay but for now i'm going to start by doing uh, a chain of 80 so i'm just going to do a slip knot like this okay and then i'm going to start with the chain of 80. now the chain of 80 is just a random number it's a little bit smaller than what i did for the poncho the poncho itself for this this guy here i did 100 uh, chains and with that 100, then that's how I got that size at this uh, weight, uh, lightweight yarn, okay? With this one, I'm just choosing to do 80. I could have chosen to do 60. I could have chosen to do a, a smaller number because I'm showing you a sample. I'm doing it like that, okay? Now, uh, as long as you do an, an even number, so as long as you do like, a, like even numbers, like 2, 4, 6, like that kind of number evenness, as long as you have that, then you're good. So in this case, we're going to do a chain of 80 one two three four five okay my lovelies so i have completed my chain of 80 here so as you can see that's what it looks like and in the 40th stitch or in the 40th chain i just put a stitch marker there to mark my halfway point um and now if you have not done this already and i should have told you this at the beginning but for now just go ahead and count 40 stitches and in the 40th stitch put a stitch marker and because this is where we're going to be creating one corner of the poncho and then on the other side you see the corner of the poncho and then when you finish doing that make sure you put your uh, chain really flat on the ground like that to make sure you have the flat side facing up and then you're going to go back and grab your uh, the other end of the um, of the chain and you're going to slip stitch in the very very first stitch here uh, and you're going to go in the back of that stitch to do a slip stitch to join these two sides together like that okay and make sure your chain is very straight and it's like looking like this and not twisted anywhere okay 
now that you have that we're going to create a first row here of the half double crochet so we're going to chain one and then we're going to go into the next stitch and this uh this uh stitch that we just did right now the chain one here counts as a stitch okay uh, and you're going to go do a half double crochet there and then you're going to move on to the next stitch and you're going to go ahead and do a half double crochet and then you're just going to work your half double crochets in the back of the foundation chain when you get to the stitch marker you're going to remove the stitch marker do your half double crochet stitch there okay and then put it back when you have done your half double crochet stitch in that stitch and then continue to do half double crochet stitches in the back of the foundation chain until you come back to this area here okay when you have done your final one here come back to the video and i will show you how to move on to the next row okay so you guys in a bit. Hey, my lovely so i have just completed this row here of the half double crochets uh going through the foundation chain but more importantly going through the back stitch of the foundation chain and as you can see i have come back to the beginning here where we're going to join and start the next row but you can also see that i counted my uh stitches 40 on this side 40 on this side and i have the stitch marker dividing them here and so and this is for a reason because we're going to start to create the 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 two sides of the poncho okay the two uh the two corners of the poncho so i did my final uh half double crochet in that stitch here and now the next stitch is the one that has my chain one from the beginning and i'm just gonna go on top of that chain one and do a slip stitch to just seal that section here like this okay so as you can see then it just i just have like a solid uh round uh portion of it like this and this is going to be the opening the top opening of our pancho okay now that i have that i'm going to chain two so one two and in that same stitch there, I'm going to do a total of four half uh, four double crochets. So that's two and the chain two counting as one. And then two with that, I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do two more double crochets in that same stitch. And this is what it's going to create my corner there. Okay, so just like that. And then for the rest of the stitches, I'm going to go ahead and continue to do a double crochet in every single stitch until i come to where the stitch marker is and then when we get to the stitch marker i'm going to show you guys what to do there and then we're going to also finish the other side of it and then i'll have you guys repeat for this particular pattern here three more times or two more times after this one and then we're gonna change the uh the stitch a little bit and we're gonna change the pattern of the poncho a little bit on that side okay but for now just work your double crochet stitches until you get back to the stitch marker here when you complete your final double crochet just right this before the stitch marker come back and i'll show you what to do there before we finish the other side okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovely so i have reached the stitch marker and as you can see my final stitch here was the double crochet stitch just right before the stitch marker so what i will do is i will remove the stitch marker and put that away and in that stitch where the stitch marker was i'm going to do four total double crochets but i'm going to do two first just like this chain chain one and then i'm going to do two more into that same stitch to make it four uh, to create this corner on this side so we have a corner on the other side on the opposite side and then we have a corner on this side so as you can see starting to build up like that so then the rest of the stitches here are going to be the regular double crochet stitches until i get back here so you will do the same where you will just complete the rest of the rows here in just regular double crochet stitch and when you get to the end so you'll have the final stitch that you'll work your double crochet stitch into come back and i will show you how to start the second row or the third row in this case uh and then i will have you guys complete a, a certain number of rows before we change the stitch okay so go ahead and do that and i'll see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have completed the other half of the side here so as you see i'm now back to the beginning of the row here so i've done my double crochet there so now i'm going to slip stitch on top of this chain two that we created as a double crochet we're just going to slip stitch up there like this and then we're going to move on into the middle and do a slip stitch there as well and then we're going to chain two and then do one double crochet inside there as the chain two counts as a double crochet so now there's two double crochets on this side chain one and then do two more double crochets to create this corner so we're going to constantly need to create this corner to keep it looking like a corner 
and then when you're done that you're going to move on to the other side and do your regular half double uh, your regular double crochet stitches until you get to the other corner and when you get to that corner you're going to create the corner again and then continue on the other side so what i mean by creating a corner here is you're going to do your double crochet stitches so you're going to have your final double crochet stitch right here Okay, so it's right, just right on top of the final double crochet from the uh, previous row. And when you have done your double crochet here, then you're going to go right into the center and do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the same stitch. And then just move on to doing your next double crochet here and then your next double crochet here and go around. So for this portion of the pancho, we're going to do four rows all together. So we have already done a row of the half double crochet. And then now we're going to do a row two uh three extra rows of the double crochet stitch and don't forget to do the corners and when you have total of four rows then you're going to come back and i'm going to show you how to change the stitch and what i'm talking about right now is if i just bring the actual poncho in these are the four rows that we're working on right now okay so we're working on this solid part of the poncho which is the four rows one row of double half double crochet and then three rows of double crochet before we move on to doing this pattern here and then repeating that okay so i'm going to show you when we come back i'm going to show you how to do this uh half of the uh, this part of the pancho here because after that then it's just repeating because you literally you literally have to go back to doing the four double crochets repeat that four double crochets repeat that and then it just continues to build up like that but for now complete total four rows come back and i'll show you how to change the pattern and then we'll move on from there see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have completed my fourth row of the pancho here and as you can see we're just creating the solid part of the pancho right now uh, and with that four rows done we're going to now change the pattern a little bit to create the meshy look of the pancho okay so having done my final double crochet here I'm going to now slip stitch on top of the chain two that we did and then of course uh, slip stitch into the center just like we've been doing and then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do another double crochet to make it two including the chain two chain one and then do two more double crochets into the same space so we have that corner created here okay now this is where we're going to change the pattern a little bit I'm going to chain one at that point and I'm going to skip this stitch and in that next stitch I'm going to do a double crochet so this is where we're starting to create our mesh then you chain one again you skip this stitch and in the next stitch you do a double crochet and then chain one skip this stitch in the next stitch you do a double crochet and of course as you can see here we're continuing this pattern until we get to this corner here okay so continue to do that and when you get to this corner here you should have your final uh, double crochet right here and then we're gonna chain one and go right into the center because we're skipping a stitch but for now just what is skipping a stitch Ch after you chain one skip a stitch do a double crochet chain one skip a stitch do a double crochet in the next stitch and continue to do that until you have reached this corner here and when you have just come back and i'll show you how to do the corner here and then we're going to complete the other side and then we'll repeat that twice and then we'll do uh, something a little bit different and then do something else, okay? So for now, just do this until you get to the corner. Okay, my lovelies, so I have completed these meshy double crochets on one side. So now we're back into the corner here. So as you can see, I did my final double crochet there. And I have a stitch to go, but that's the stitch we're skipping. So I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to go right into the center here because I'm skipping that final stitch. And I'm going to do two double crochets, chain one, and then two double crochets into the middle part, which is in the same stitch per se. Okay. And then on this side, I'm going to chain one, skip this stitch. In this stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet, chain one, skip this stitch. In this stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. And as you can see, we're just pretty much repeating what we did on the other side at this point until we get to the corner again. Okay so just like i said we did a little bit ago go ahead and finish this alternation of chain one skip a stitch do a double crochet until you get to the corner here and when you get to this corner come back and i'll show you how to start the next row of the exact same stitches that we just did 
because that is the pattern we're going to do two of those and then we're going to do a row of double crochet solid double crochet and then two more meshes before we go back to doing the solid four rows of double crochet okay but for now just get, just get to the corner and we will move on from there okay my lovelies so again we have reached the corner here so as you can see i just did my double crochet there we're going to skip this and do one more there so i'm going to chain one skip this one and go into that stitch right there and do a final double crochet before we chain one and go right into the middle so like that okay so now that i have that i'm going to chain one and then i'm going to go and slip stitch right on top of that first double crochet which is the chain two there like that and then i'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the middle just like that and then now we're back to doing the uh, chain two to create the middle part again so we're going to do a double crochet chain one so that means two because of chain two chain one and then do two more double crochets in the middle just like that and then chain one and then in this so we're skipping this stitch right here and in this stitch we're going to do a double crochet stitch on top of that okay just like that see that and then we're going to chain one of course skip this one and into the next which is on top of the previous double crochet you're going to do a double crochet chain one skip the stitch here and in the middle you do a chain a, a double crochet chain one skip a stitch in the middle and again you continue to do this and the stitch you're skipping is the chain one that you're doing between these stitches here from the previous row so you're skipping those stitches and just going and doing a double crochet on top of the double crochet from, from the previous row. So it will look something like this, okay? So if you see that, it would look something like that. So again, continue to do this. When you get to this middle here, you're going to do your final double crochet here. And then chain one, skip, and then do your four here, which is chain two, uh, which is um, two double crochets, chain one two more double crochets chain uh, chain one and then skip this stitch and then go into this stitch here at the end so you're skipping this one and in this one here is where you do your double crochet then chain one do a double crochet chain one do a double crochet and then you loop back around all the way until you come back to here now i'll allow you guys to go all the way i will let you guys go all the way to uh until you come here i hate when i use the word allow but i, I to, because i don't need to allow you anything you have the right to do whatever you want to do and just gonna work until you get to this so your final double crochet will be right here and when you get to here then i will come back and i'll show you guys how to then transition back to a row of the double crochet before we go back to this mesh okay all right so i will see you guys yeah my lovelies so i just went around and completed this second row of the uh mesh uh stitch and as you can see, I'm now in the final stitch before I get back to the middle. So I already did my chain one there. And then I'll just go on top of that chain two and do a slip stitch there. And then I'm going to go into the middle and do a slip stitch. And this joins these two sides like this. And as you can see, this is now how our poncho is going to start to look. And this is the mesh part here. But we have a few more rows that I'm going to show you that are going to be part of the repeat. So all of this here is going to be... Uh, you're creating a block that looks exactly the same and then you're going to add do another block like that and so it's a little it's more like so let's say four five six seven eight nine it's a nine row repeat which is why at the, i said at the beginning it's a little bit more of a not completely like a advanced type of crochet but you need to know your different stitches to be able to work with this and as a beginner you can do it as well i'm not discouraging you guys who are beginners at all from doing this okay all right so for this next part uh which is for the next row i'm going to do the same which is chain two this part will always be the same here like this part here is always going to work out the same and then i'm going to go into that same stitch and do another dou a double crochet chain one and then to do two more double crochets so i have four total including the chain two at the beginning like that and then what i'm going to do now there's no more chaining anything we're just going to go right into the next stitch and do a double crochet and then we're going to go into the space here and do a double crochet. And then we're going to go on top of the double crochet and do a double crochet. Okay. And then we're going to go into the chain one space, do a double crochet. On top of the previous double crochet, do a double crochet. On top of the chain one, do a double crochet. And then on top of the previous double crochet, do a double crochet. 
where the chain one space is do a double crochet so as you can see here we're just pretty much uh creating a row of the double crochet stitches here but we're doing this without skipping any spaces so where there's a stitch you're going to put a stitch and you're going to do a double crochet stitch and again you're going to go all the way until you get to this center when you get to this center here which is the other corner you're going to do your double crochet here on top of the uh, chain uh, on top of the double crochet from the previous previous row do a double crochet in the gap do a double crochet on top of this stitch here do a double crochet on top of this stitch here then go into the space and do two double crochets chain one two double crochets then skip over to this side and do a double crochet on top of this double crochet double crochet in this chain one gap double crochet on top of this chain uh, cha uh, double crochet from the previous row and then just repeat until you come back to here so i'm gonna have you guys do that and it should be a solid row like this it should be any gaps anywhere or any chain anything anywhere okay when you get back to this beginning here come back to the video and i'm going to show you how to transition back to doing two more rows of this and then from there on it's a matter of repeating okay all right so let's go ahead and complete this round and then i'll see you guys at the end okay my lovelies so again i have gone ahead and completed this row uh of uh, which is now our seventh row four five six seven this is our seventh row that i just completed here and uh we're going to just join so i've done my final double crochet there then I'm going to join it by slip stitching on top of the next stitch and then going into the stitch in the middle and flip finishing a slip stitch there as well. So as you can see, this is now how it is completed uh, for, this, uh, for this row. And then we're going to do two more rows of these uh, gapped uh, double crochet stitches here. Okay. And so I'm going to show you how to just start because otherwise you just repeat exactly what you did here. And then I'm going to go do mine offline and then I'll come back and show you how it looks after we complete that and then the repeat starts okay so again we do a chain two we do a double crochet in the same stitch we chain one we do two double crochet stitches in the same stitch okay so this creates our corner as we said and then now we're going to chain one skip this stitch and in this stitch do a double crochet okay so exactly what we did with starting this section here okay chain one skip this stitch in this stitch do a double crochet chain one skip this stitch in this stitch do a double crochet and again you continue this until you come all the way back here and don't forget when you get to this corner here you're going to do your double crochet right here chain one skip this stitch and then do two double crochets in this gap here the chain one gap and then chain one do two more double crochets in that gap chain one skip this stitch in this stitch do a double crochet chain one skip this stitch in this stitch, stitch do a double crochet and you repeat until you come back to here when you get to here your final double crochet should be right here you're going to chain one skip this stitch slip stitch on top of this chain two and then slip stitch in the middle and then do two double crochets chain one chain two being part of that uh, double crochet chain two chain one do two more double crochets and then you repeat the same thing on this side where you chain one skip a stitch uh do a double crochet chain one skip a stitch a double crochet and when you have completed two complete rows like this of this come back to the video and i will do the same and then we will look how that looks like so far and then i will have you guys repeat this particular thing as much as you want until you have your shawl completed or your your poncho completed okay but for now let's do these two rows uh then we come back when and look at our work when we finish that okay my lovelies so i just quickly completed this row here that i said we should complete and then come back and look at it but i didn't quite complete it because i ran out of this yarn and i do not quite want to connect another one because i'm just using it as a sample so i would have obviously done these two here and then slip stitch two until i get to the middle here and then that's where i would uh, have come back so but i'm not too far from there so if we flip this poncho like this this is so cute i feel like i want to make one for a kid just so i can make one that is that small anyways so this is pretty much how your poncho is starting to build up and this is all the repeat rows that you need here okay so with the exception of the first row that we did which was a half double crochet stitch and the reason i did that i wanted the neck to be a little bit snatched in and it's the same thing i did with this one so if i show you guys 
the one that i made which is the full size one if you look at this you can see it looks a little bit snatched in like that that is why i did the half double crochet for the first row here and then the next remaining three rows were a, just a solid double crochet stitch and then i did two rows of this mesh here which is pretty much a double crochet chain one skip a stitch and then we create this and then i did a row of the double crochet solid and then we repeated the mesh one again so now the repeat here is doing four rows of the double crochet solid double crochet four rows of those will go here followed by two rows of this followed by one row of the solid double crochet followed by two rows of the mesh again before we go back to the solid so let me show you what i'm talking about okay so this is the puncher that is completed here okay so this is what we just completed here we just did this from here to here from here to the beginning or to the beginning of this white is what we just did with this sample okay so now what we have left is repeating it and the repeat is pretty much doing four rows of the solid double crochet two rows of the mesh one row of the double crochet solid two rows of the mesh and then back to repeating that four rows of mesh uh, sorry of solid double crochet four rows uh, two rows of uh, mesh double crochet one row of solid double crochet two rows of mesh double crochet and then we just keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so if you look at my poncho here due to running out of yarn i ended up doing just one row of the double crochet so i repeated the uh, three uh I did three rows of the solid here sorry four rows of the solid here two rows of the mesh and then one row of the double crochet which is the solid one and that's why i stopped and I did this particularly one because I got the size I was looking for and I don't want to have to just complete the rest of the rows just to, to match the, the pattern. Uh, so I just stopped it here. And second, I also ran, ran out of this yarn and I did not want to go into my second donut to get that or the second cake to get, to get more yarn. Okay. So that is pretty much it here, you guys. So go ahead and keep repeating these four or these uh, nine these nine rows here keep repeating them until you have the length because you literally just start building everything like that as you go down but for now this is pretty much it for me i have pretty much done my part of showing you what to do and now it's up to you to create the whole thing okay now if you want to show me what you have created how it looks like uh just go ahead and follow me on instagram or send me a private message on instagram uh it is angel underscore uh, tia underscore crochet and uh, i will have it in the description box of this video so that you know uh where to find me on instagram and you can send me pictures of what you have completed in different colors would be nice obviously so i can see how it turns out in all these different colors but for now this is pretty much the end of the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do so i have a ton of other videos i think i have at this point almost 150 videos that i have already completed go check them out and if you're interested please subscribe so that you can stay notified especially if you do hit the notification bell as well okay all right thank you so much again for watching the video to the end and i will see you guys in the next one bye